accusations and scandaling, scandal mongering. Sazish, Thrill, Pagda, Zidanandam, Tevit, every number of them in Rose, them again, Shown, them again. And who is this one? Ikea. A soothsayer. In Jadgar, Tavis Gar, your majesty. Whence comes he? Iberish Zamda. What does he hear? Maslevichia. He had expected these last few days preceding the races. Umid Mukat ki azamzi as dawani mukabilai shi ekchandu speech that the merchant would be forever hanging about the bridge. Kinali mar vichoda garmaya or jana zuri lana mi dega subta shawar en mish khad bud bothering him for news about his horses. Kya uchishu da mu bugi na mu khayak da. But it was not so. The merchant had not come once. Resentment had prevailed over vanity in his heart. And he now desired neither the first award at the races nor the royal praises. Kina kesta as gurur kata ziyad dilazur thang kata in algu dagami as the first prize I'm near. Ya ke madam at darbar bisar na mishnu. He thirsted only for revenge. Fakat masale zwal intikama. Az bast ki wakina girifta al fakat intikam ya khaya. To expose that crafty grandi. To crush his enemy. Make him bite the dust. Ruish the khag maldiniya. And of course, while he was at it, to grind that knavish soothsayer into dust. Or yimi yimi mutawiz garram kis da khag maldiniya. It need hardly be said that victory in the races went to the grandees taken horses. They were magnificent. Ali, superb. When with tails streaming in the wind, Mausily, they sped like flying arrows. Amutar midavit misliki, tir da hawa. Dor yazu aspara mogeda. Having behind them five hundred cubits of clear field ahead of all the others, pine sat cubit. Matlab kya apda razbein hai zona udiga. Amid the deafening blare of trumpets. The piercing screech of bagpipes. Ho, in aliyamun na awazi trumpetra. Po 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 po. Ura blare maga, blaring. Amid that deafening, kikar maga na be. Deafening blare of trumpets and piercing speech of the bagpipe. Oh, do you hear that? Wow, 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 wow! How does it feel, guys? Bagpipe and the frenzied roll and crash of drums, grum, 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 large and small. The winners were led up to the decorated dice. Ali, one, two, three. The dice like that. You know, one winners are going to board the session. You know, dice. Upon which the Khan set in state. Al Belize stage. Dice am munar of the near stage. The near Khan say pista. The takens arched their necks. Champed furiously upon the bits and pawed the ground, eager to be let out on to the horse course once more. Inadi gas bastiki taru taze baz me khayek na midan baya. They had made twelve rounds of the outer course. Am akhri round kine the mane chis? Am kitta samam kalan line. Do azda round azur mukammal kada baz endil chis tiki borda midan. Yet their breath was but slightly affected. Their backs and flanks were dry. Without a single spot of sweat upon them, and not a vein on their slender leg pushed or throbbed. Taking a grand day, the 
The Khan smiled, admiring them. A murmur of delight ran through the throng of courtiers. Throng, Jamchaya, Jamchamagi. Courtiers, Darbaria. The murmur and of delight, Hoshiki, Leher, ran through the throng of courtiers clustering behind the throne. He was pushed to Takh Jama. The grandee was flushed with victory. He struck swaggering poses, hitched up his shoulders, twirled his moustache, bent his body to right and left, and showed his twinkling heels. The Khan's chief crier came forward to the edge of the dais, Elan Kimona, and raised his hand, commanding attention. Come on, silence. The trumpets and drums were silenced, and the crowd, pressing closer to the dais, stood hushed and expectant. The all merciful and sun like sovereign of Kokan and other flourishing lands, the crier began in a deep, thunderous voice. The king whose fame eclipses all that of all other earthly potentates, the chosen favorite of Allah, Zilla Ilahi, whose name may be exalted, Allah Ta'ala, and the successor of Muhammad upon earth. Wasir Rasulullah Rizimin. The Khan made a sign to the master of ceremonies, Isharakat, who advanced towards the crier, took the scroll from his hand, and marked off with his fingernail a good three quarters of what was written thereon for subsequent private pursual in accordance with the extra remuneration paid to him for the purpose. Cryer, thus suddenly deprived of his customary running start, began to mumble and fumble, then mm, running his confused eye down to the hindermost bottom lines, proceeded. Does hereby graciously bestow the first award of forty thousand tongas for matchless beauty of form and fleetness upon protection and justice. Suddenly arose a wail from out of the crowd. Insaf, kiss. I supplicate the great Khan to right and wrong. Hakubatil Khan. The Khan lifted his eyebrows. A murmur of dismay passed over the lords of the court. At such an hour, the Ziv Mocha, on such a festive occasion, unheard of affrontery. The crowd parted to let the merchant approach the dice. Unturbant. Barefooted. Pilut. Belungi. But wearing his costly robe, Magar Chapani Granchi, the giant chair, with the burnished plate of his guild upon his breast. He scratched his face, tore out tufts of his beard, and dropped upon his knees, sprinkling a handful of dust upon his head and shrieking, protection! And justice, Khan. The black moustache of the grandee, Burtai Siai Changi Grandee, seemed to come away from his face and hang in the mid-air. 
Пакът да ги бротаеш брон, да ми да газгиш гумж, да. So pale had he become. Как да вранеш зад? Ги че скажеш. Ма таза хавара бърда да ми. Raise him! The Khan said angrily. Балко, Азамин, Балко, raise that rascalian who has dared to cast a gloom upon this day's festivity. Rose, Бехи, Бехи, Зади, Партир, Храб, Къде ти, Руисия. Raise him up and bring him before me. Байб ти пешен же? The guards seized the merchant under the armpits. Настай багалчи. And dragged him towards the dice. They hoisted him up the steps with such celerity that his short dangling legs grazed not a single step. And the balka the hay which you catch the reserve with the pies the hawash or the The perturbation among the lords of the court increased. Sarasada Bazia to the Manitarvaria. The merchant had been recognized. The wazir for trading affairs leaned towards the Khan, Waziri Tujarat, and spoke to him in undertone. With the, a wealthy merchant, the Khan repeated in surprise, and a most respected one, Wabzar Namishi. Then wherefore is he in such a sorry state? Let him be brought closer. Let him speak to Belki Bugia. The guard dragged the merchant closer. He hung upon their arms like a sack of meal. He desired to speak, but he could not. His thick lips stirred soundlessly within the frame of his beard. The Khan waited. The officers of the court waited. The grandee held his breath, which is Mughali, and his eyes fixed upon the merchant were blazing. Meantime, the tiding upon the about the Tekkens having won the race had spread like wildfire throughout the bazaar. The Chaikhanas and the caravans arise and reach the bridge of the beheaded. Аз базаро, тъй хана ти е, че да бери пъл да си. Сари пъл и сър калам. The merchant will come now for certain. Бахти хабар да бери да си, рефлектит хожа на си в финали, майна е дега спасим да му си бари дега. The first award at the races has been wrested from him and he will hardly wish to increase his losses by abandoning horses worth many thousands. How will you raise a baby? I'll go to the last name. I can't go. I'll go to the last name. 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 The merchant did not come. In his stead, mounted guards galloped upon Spayama, leading a spare horse by a bridle, and laying hold of Khoja Nasruddin, they rushed him away without uttering a word. I mean, if Khoja Nasruddin will ask something, hey! Na salam na dua. It all happened so quickly that he barely had time to stuff his suit saying stock in trade. His book, Amunjaman. The gourd and so forth into his bag. The niche of the grand soothsayer stood empty. For a long time, a silence of bewilderment reigned upon the bridge. Tamam az hayrat khamush manda. Bridge silence to death. Then the soothsayer fell to discussing and arguing about the affair among themselves. Baz gui gara shur shur. Bayan yazi tawiz gara. Whither had they taken him? Kuja burda basha dungi. Bakhalim bandi khana burda. Na, to the scaffold. Kustaniya ura. Or happily, he would yet return in some new shape. 
تو چی خبری نه بور از اون باین زیل نیه چیزی که یوزد ماده از یه شک نیه The majority, اکثر از آنها، however, inclined to the opinion that his doom was now sealed. مگر اکثر دمزی باور بود که خیر زنیه. میرکی رقم بردای خیر زنیه. The three adulators who had hastened to disown the old man and change sides, اما سینا فرق زود بیا فایده داد. Now bitterly regretting their precipitancy. <laughs> and especially their sneering jibes at the magic skull. The first to advance to the old man's niche was Hakim. Hakim Pesh Dharmaya, the one who had long dwelt in his house where he had been received as a son. Is it not dumb, damn for you here? Tar khuniyam jagai, the yah khunak den, wakul. Oh, wisest of protectors. He asked in a voice of false filial solitude. Drog magadro, makarna. If you desire, I can give you my new rush mat, softened with wadding. Agar tar marastay ter na. The two others, fearing lest they be forestalled in fawning adulation, advanced towards the niche too. Oh, most erudite of teachers! <laughs> One said in a honeyed, sticky voice, An exceedingly rich widow came to me yesterday for advice. Her case is a difficult and intricate one. And I know not what to make of it. Permit me, therefore, when she comes today, to direct her to you in order that you may resolve her perplexities. Agar jaza ba shem roz pish mo rey kan maamar islam ke makam muskila chir hal ke. And incidentally, derive all the profits occurring therefrom. Wa har shi ke ba shud hui sabo shi ko anchi ma shayin. Your profound wisdom. And your incomparable learning, interposed the other. Or ilm shmo sahib chi ilm ma sha Allah and sublime notions wa fikr shmo chi ali fikr sta. The first hasten to put in and the prophetic skull we kadui sar kadui sar ki matlab chuda paygambar exclaimed the second. Meanwhile, the third one Hakim hopped about and squeaking behind, trying to ferret out a place where he could slip in a word of his own. دنبال بود که ماش طوری تعریفی کلمات هم دغول بین زم که علما نرهات نش نباید کلاس بود. And an utterable benignity he squealed. Or سادگی و خلوص کی انتها. What a kindly smile illumined yesterday your countenance, O clairvoyant seer, when you gave ear to my harmless jests. Understanding that they were not prompted by aught save good nature and a sportive disposition. Just you know what I'm talking about. The old main man raised not his eyes. But the ghost of a mirthless smile was born on his dry lips. That is when he came near to an understanding of that ancient truth. That wisdom belongs not to the high. But to the lowly, ikmatra 
بلند و بانگ دعوی نه بلکه مو پسمنده و فقیره و حقیره رو بلاو جد However, the dread words that he uttered showed that his wisdom had turned its face towards the darkness. He said, روی که مجسون ترکی شده For each of you in its time, the وقت چی؟ هر کدام شما را I performed a good deed. ما بلشم خوبی کدم دست دست شیم شک شما دکار داشته. هر کدام شما را بلشم احسان کدم. And now I have been punished for it. Such is the law of this sorrowful world. این ماتم کده Every good deed involves punishment to the doer. جس پر احسان کرو اس کی شر سے بچو. یچی آلائی دنیای بے وفا. It is doubtful whether the speaker and his listeners fully grasped the dread import of those words, after which, if only had they proved to be true, life would have ceased. But praise be to blessed life. They were not true. They were merely an excuse for such as had lost faith or scum to despair. Ya Naomi chudani na yathas khorda, as this old man had done. Khoja Nasruddin was hoisted up to the dice by the guards with still greater celerity than the merchant and thrown down upon the carpet before the Khan. Of the common people, there was no one nearby now. The guards having driven away the last of the curious to the edge of the field with the aid of sticks and whips. Khoja Nasruddin perceived Fahmid at a glance and did Fahmid that a vehement altercation between the merchant and the grandee had just taken place. Both were red and perspiring. Both stood with flashing eyes and shaking hands. The Khan himself was red with anger too. Khanan began to hop cars balls down. Never, he said in a low, smothered voice. Never has anyone yet dared to outrage the royal ears with such indecent squabbling. And in public too, before the eyes of thousands, could you find no other hour and place for your base reckonings? His breath came wheezing. <sighs> and why cannot the king ever ease his heart with the delights of pleasure or an hour's spectacle without being plagued by your sordid complaints, accusations? and scandaling, scandal mongering. Sazish, zero, parda, zidanam, dam, tevi tevri namu vayamin, roz namu gen, shau namu gen. Upon this, his glance, ali dimzi qarqaru sarasada, his glance fell on khoja nasruddin. And who is this one? Ikia! A soothsayer. Ikjadugar, Tavizgar, Your Majesty, murmured the trade wazir, wazir tijarat. The one who has been the cause of Mikhail Gabon Kamalgara. Whence comes he? Iberishizamda. What does he hear? Maslezichia. The wazir, pay a lot of Iran Manichizbuk. I caused him uh, to be conveyed hither uh, in the belief that your gracious majesty would uh, desire to question, uh, um, uh, to, to, to hear, uh, um, uh, to discover, to uh, contemplate. I thought,
He floundered in the morass of his words. The money, pay pay like shut khulasa. The money alfazi khud ko. And glanced round helplessly at the lords of the court. So now diga sil na kuma kin bayi mare bachao kin na jama shikar kano. No one hastened to his succor. All were silent. Tamam khab girta. He believed, cried the Khan, incensed to be the rage. He thought, here, yeah, soon you will believe some other absurd and drag all the bazaar sweepers, dustmen and scavengers to our throne to hold friendly conversation and discussion with us. If you have ordered this knave of a soothsayer to be conveyed hither, then speak to him yourself and spare us that honor. Let him either find those accursed horses, yeah, was by Blana Tirpaidana. Now, in our presence, in Iminja Tadarbar, this very moment, or let him confess, Yabuiki, Ekrarkana to deceit, to fray, and suffer the punishment it deserves. Right here, before this dice. <laughs> the Khan fell silent and lay back among the cushions, <sighs> his mane expressing extreme displeasure. <laughs> Meanwhile, Khoja Nasruddin had exchanged glances with the merchant. And given him a friendly wink. At which the latter had grunted furiously and torn out another tuft of his bread, beard. But had not dared to raise his voice. Soothsayer! O Jadagar! Said the trade vizier, You have heard the will of our sovereign. Shinidi, Farmane, Sultana, Therefore answer all my questions openly, Clearly, And without evasion. And so did Khoja Nasruddin answer them, Openly, Clearly, And without evasion. Of a truth, he undertook to find the horses. Now, this very moment, in the presence of the Khan, he made bold to remind the merchant of the reward of 10,000 tangas which he had promised him. Was there such a bargain? The trade was here, asked the money changer. The latter, by way of reply, drew a purse from under his robe and handed it to the Wazir. See, soothsayer, the Wazir said, shaking the purse from which came the shrill song of gold. But before you receive this, you must, in the first place, find the horses. And secondly, clear yourself of the accusation of bribery under which you lie. If you undertake to discover the horses today, then explain why you could not do yesterday. The day before, Pasi Pariro and the day before that, Pasi Pariro Wherefore did you not discover them before the race? and undertake now 
to discover them after the race. Ali mo kima wada mo kono mo kima amya al payda mo kono. Chara zre space payda na gidito the time sheet. The inauspicious disposal of the stars of Saadat Zabih, Khoja Nasruddin began the old tune of his Bukhara days. And lurks there not here, the wazir interrupted him. Lurks there not here a wicked design to scathe the king of the age by depriving him of the pleasure of contemplating the Arab states which are set by their owner to be not incompatible of delighting the royal gaze. If such a mischievous design was really harbored by you, then who inspired it? تو نیستی که خانه خوب زبردست مقابل ربع کردن، ورزش تو درس پیش پیدا نکردی، تو بگی تو خالص کی میلاری؟ این برنامه را کی جور کرد که تو بیگری باشی آرام مورد خراب کنی؟ This assumption of evil intent was directed against the grandee, his ancient rival. همو آبادی دشمن هری بزی، grandee، دتر بزی شاره بود. تو خالص یه گو دیل کدی اتای؟ Confess، اعتراف کدی؟ یا نسوز سر؟ He cried. The embers of hope fanning into flame within him make an open-hearted confession. Who has inspired you in this design against our refulgent and sun-like Khan? Who is that vile, perfidious villain who veils his snake sting beneath the guise of devotion? Speak! Confess! And you shall be pardoned. اگر اعتراف کنی مبخشم ترا and your reward shall be increased I myself animated by the zeal of exposing all the secret enemies of my sovereign shall add two no three thousand tangas to this purse if you will but speak من از یک چند دو نه سه هزار مای اضافی می دزم مگه تو راز راز بگیر که در خلاف خان سازیش کی کدن Consumed with the desire to destroy his rival, Barezi ki harif khora bechiz bain bubra, he would willingly have given five and ten thousand. Barezi harif azra bora invest mein atin iski five to ten thousand amkana. But the man whom he was pitting himself against was no callow youth, ek juan e kham, kona budo, but a strong officer of state in his prime. Steeled in the jousts of court strife, whom was the Rabara Hope Mishnah say the Nige now take Juan and the way to the Nam Fama? Whom who had it again? The grandee advanced towards the throne. Alvari grandee here. His eyes flashed and his bristling mustache struck out formidably like the tusks of a fighting elephant. Does the king of the age hear and see what is passing here? Janabi Ali, aap dekh rahe hain kya ho raha hai? To extort a confession by money? Khan? Dara mujhe itraaf ko rupee village mein deza ye chir kam rahe ras mastai ko tum kaano na. Rupee mein deza mujhe confession ko. Bribe nahi chiz khel range, rupee bhi to Khan sahab. Is that not in its turn a heinous form of bribery? By questioning the soothsayer, I am executing the Khan's command. Snare the wazir the wine about good ma, what lips Mugumki, Yiku, Khan with the Kira, Bugi Gab, the Gabbayro, Mother of Gabbayro. And no one can ex accuse me. Either of bribery or of horse stealing, like some people. Almighty Allah, cried the grandee, giving a jump on his high heeled boots and raising his hands skywards, a heavenly powers. Oh, heavenly powers. Oh, Asmani. Power, why? Oh, why am I forced to listen to such insults? And from whom? From men who, although vested with the highest trust, make unworthy use of it for their selfish ends 
to undo exactions and in the case of the large trading row that was built last year. What exaction? The wazir cried indignantly, but his eyes became sh shifty and dimly dusty dull. For he knew only too well that exactions his enemy was referring to. What exactions his enemy was referring to? Happily, the most highly esteemed chief of the watch means the money that was allotted last year for the renovation of the watchtowers, of which not a single stone has yet been re renovated, although the money has been expended to the last copper. By the time I'm here today, we're going to repeat it. We're going to repeat it. We're going to repeat it. We're Watchtowers, the chief of the public services interrupted in a squeaky voice. Public services, we're going to repeat it. If we are going to talk about watchtowers, we might as well talk about the cleaning and the lining of the great cistern on the square of the Saint Hazrat. Who has seen there any cleaning? Lining. This affair is now in its fourth year, and money has been drawn from the treasury four times. مگسای بگری ترس دخو بازم اون کلینینگ میلینینگ هم شماسیل چهار سالی روپیزی خورداش ده فرندا تمام خرچ ده یا قطعه کلینینگ نش ده. گوراز گول را. At this, the supreme mirab who had charged of all the irrigation reeks and the reservoirs in the kingdom. حال واری زودی که وزیره که می اگریکالچر و آو منجمنتی تام دگیر زیانه. Spoke up and mentioned bazaar squares that were still waiting to be paved. Whereat the head overseer of bazaar, a lank, wiry old man with the round eyes of an owl and a pork-marked face, was stung into angry retort. Squattering and lisping, he began to shout about caravans that had been robbed on the way to Kokam, and about the bags of gold sent to Amir of Bukhara, which never reached their destination. Thereupon was heard the thunderous voice of the chief guardian of the ways who attributed the loss of the gold to the impudence of the sons of wickedness who had attacked the caravans his grandiloquent speech was interrupted by the loud laughter of the grandi who through his spies knew perfectly well who those sons of wickedness were. The trade wazir put another word in and after him the supreme mirab followed by the overseer of the bazaar the treasurer and all the rest. Tamam involver. Tamam karapta. Pura court kat court karapta. Within a minute, a conflagration of mutual in recriminations and reproaches was raging upon the royal dais. Ali har kudam to khaz dar ebleg diye ho. Ush kai de zir bal kada, ush kai de zor mana. Emu gayi nitr kada. I rishvat khorda, i gesh maga falana fanda khorda, i maga falana kat falana milawa. Ida khan minga na vacha ke tamam tashtas baam hai. The merchant, the soothsayer, and the stolen horses were completely forgotten. <laughs> completely forgotten, yeah? And that would be a pause for now. <laughs>